Hello everyone and welcome back to another BeamNG Drive video. So in this video we'll be looking at the best real-life racetracks that are available for BeamNG Drive. And when I say the best, I mean, well, my personal favorites, because quality racetrack mods are quite hard to find. These are all quality mods and they tend to be my favorite five. Now since all of these racetracks exist in real life, we're first gonna talk a bit about the track itself. Then we're gonna talk about the quality of the terrain and the quality of the textures when it comes to the mod, whether AI is supported. I'll also add some notes about the tracks if there are any to add. And at the end we're also gonna have a benchmark, so you can see how well you can expect these to run, based on how well they run on my machine compared to some official maps. Just like in the previous videos, you can find the timestamps and the download links in the description. If you don't see it right away, just expand it, it's all there. And before we get started, make sure to leave a like if you find this video informative and subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos. It really helps the channel out a lot and I really really appreciate it, so thanks for all the likes and subs. So, the first mod on this list right away is the Nürburgring. The Nürburgring is a German racetrack complex that features a Grand Prix circuit and the infamous Nordschleife, or the North Loop. The Nordschleife was built in the 1920s around the nearby village and the medieval castle of the Nürburg. It's also known as the Green Hell, which is a nickname that Jackie Stewart gave it. It's 20.8 kilometers, which is 12.9 miles long and has more than 300 meters or 1000 feet of elevation change from its lowest to the highest points. It's notoriously difficult to drive on and insanely fun at the same time. It even used to host the German Formula 1 Grand Prix up until 1976, which is a year in which Niki Lauda, the reigning world champion at the time, almost burned to death after a crash on the ring during a rainy race. After that event, the track was deemed too unsafe for the Formula 1 cars and F1 never raced there again. The Grand Prix track was completed in 1984 and it's way safer and less scary, it's 5.1 kilometers or 3.2 miles long and F1 races are still regularly being held there. Now you wanna hear some great news? This mod features them both. When it comes to the mod quality, it has great quality textures and even better quality laser scan terrain, it's an Assetto Core support. The AI is unfortunately not supported, so you can't race your imaginary friends on this map, sorry. The next track on this list is Spa from Corshaw, also known as Spa. It's a Belgian racing circuit, which is 7 km or 4.3 miles long. Formula 1 Grand Prix are being held there regularly and it also holds some other events such as endurance racing. This track features a Rouge, one of the most thrilling and probably the most famous corner in a whole F1 calendar. Now, when it comes to the mod quality, again, we have awesome textures and laser scan terrain, as it's another Assetto Core support. Now, for more good news, AI is actually supported on this map. This is actually the only map on this list that supports AI. Now the AI routes are quite decent, but the AI does sometimes end up in a wall and they drive like a bunch of grannies while they're on a racetrack, but it's still decent. Our next track is Autodrom Pomoje. It's a Polish racetrack that features just over a kilometer or about 3400 feet long car track, on which drift events are being held regularly, plus a dirt track. This thing is very fun for small and nimble cars or for rally cross. When it comes to the mod quality, it features amazing custom-made textures and also custom-made models. Now, some sections of the map are textured as though they're asphalt, but they actually behave like dirt. But the map is still in development, so I hope they're gonna fix that. Now, fences and tire walls on this map have a cool feature. They actually soften your crashes by, well, kinda absorbing the car and then pushing it out slowly. You have to try to get the idea. And when it comes to the AI, it's not supported, at least not yet. Again, it's still in the beta, so it might get added later. Our next track is Brands Hatch. It's a British circuit that hosted 12 runnings of the British Grand Prix between 1964 and 1986, and it still hosts many international events. The track features two configurations, the 1.9 km or 1.2 mile Indy circuit and the 3.9 km or 2.4 mile Grand Prix circuit that used to host Formula 1 events. 
When it comes to the mod quality, it's another Assetto Core support, so it has very high quality laser scan terrain, but some textures are not that great for some reason. Also, hitting some parts of some curbs will unfortunately pop your tires. When it comes to the AI, like I already mentioned, Spa is the only track on this list that supports it, so this one doesn't either. And our final track on this list is Circuit de la Sarte. But most of you probably know it as the Le Mans circuit, as it's primarily known as the venue for the 24 hour of Le Mans race. In its present configuration, it's 13.6 kilometers or 8.4 miles long. It's a very very fast track, as drivers usually spend over 80% of the lifetime on full throttle, and the rest is mostly heavy braking, perfect for endurance racing. When it comes to the mod quality, it features great quality terrain, as it's an R Factor 2 port, but some textures, they are far from looking great. And also, the AI is unfortunately not supported. Ok, now it's benchmark time, but first, this is pretty much everything you need to know about my PC, and these are the settings that I used. And these are the benchmark results. Now many of these tracks are either big maps or very very complex terrains, so they tend to run worse than some official maps. But as you can see, I was still getting pretty good frame rates on average. Now that's gonna be all for this video, but there are many more real life tracks in BeamNG and I'm gonna make additional videos reviewing them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos in the future. Thank you for every like, share, sub and comment, and I really hope you have some fun with these tracks. That's gonna be all from me, so enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye!